Ever since the credit crisis, the drive for transparency has been relentless. And naturally, that drive is extending beyond equities into other asset classes. I'm Les Kovach, Editorial Director of Tab Forum, and I'm joined today by JP Malay, Head of OTC at Trading Screen. And we're here to discuss the complexity, or the growing complexity, in the foreign exchange markets. JP, how has the drive for transparency increased complexity in foreign exchange? We've seen a lot of transparency hitting the equity market with new venues, more complexity uh, back from, you know, I would say the mid-2000 till today. And that has also brought a lot of new venues also in the FX market. So what the way we see uh, this is that now asset managers that used to use some systems in the past have to look back and perform more analysis on their foreign exchange transactions. And what technologies are the asset managers using to simplify the complexity and provide the transparency that's required? We are in a cost-cutting mode. So they try to go with very efficient solution. What you know we've decided to do is we've decided to go with a cloud solution, which is typically what will save on cost. You know, there's no machine. There's a very easy you know deployment a mechanism for our clients, uh, and we are trying to uh, help them that way. And what other types of uh, technologies within the enterprise are helping them meet their reporting requirements? The TCA world is coming from an equity background, and it's ex expanding to other asset class. Uh, and is, it is hitting now FX. We, you know, we've seen the press, there's been a number of lawsuits uh, being advertised, uh, well, I would say over the past couple of years. Uh, people have to look at the quality of their FX execution. Uh, now, the way, the way we help them is we started with uh, plain vanilla, uh, I guess, equity sort of TCA, and we've added a lot more complexity uh, with um, uh, one of my colleagues, John Fatika, who heads up the analytics group at TCA. Uh, and we've worked with our customers, with a group of customers, in fact, to inject additional business um, inside of our TCA for foreign exchange. We've looked at compliance and the impact that it has on your transaction cost analysis reports. Uh, we've looked at uh, also how we can better service them by providing more liquidity provider, again, on a cloud-based solution. That means at no additional cost for the asset manager. Uh, so th these are the two things, you know, I would say that we have done to help them out. So these, these new analytics tools, uh, mm -hmm. the new transparency that, that firms are gaining, um, how are they using this new information and, and how are the regulators using it? Also a good point because in the regulators have always published clear guidelines in terms of, you know, as uh, an asset manager you have a fiduciary obligation to provide best execution for your customers. Uh, however, best execution in FX was uh, quite a simple thing. You know, they used to take a snapshot of all the prices available at the time of the trade, but now people go beyond that. You know, and these asset managers are setting up daily processes, uh, weekly processes, monthly processes, depending on their internal organization, to review this. And the regulators now want to see the result of this process. They want to see some action. They want to see. Uh, what is happening and how they measure the quality of their execution, and we help uh, our clients do that. So we're actually seeing a bit of a, a feedback loop where the, the increased visibility is actually fueling a demand for even more transparency. Absolutely, absolutely. The FX market, especially when you're a large asset manager, was very much RFQ driven. So you had very little transparency pre-trade of, well, you had some level of transparency, but really not to the uh, well, there was no cloud aggregation service, which is what we provide right now, with a combination of streaming prices, RFQ, Anonymous, as well as uh, fully disclosed uh, pricing. And that's really what we bring to the table. And beyond the compliance aspects, mm -hmm. what benefits are firms able to get from the increased visibility into their own operations? Are, are they improving their own executions based on them? They are improving their own execution, and they can better report back to their plan sponsors. So this concept of transaction cost analysis is very big when you manage other people's you know, uh, money. Mm -hmm. So what happened is that we've seen uh, some pension funds pooling their investment away from their money managers uh, and you know, trade that. You know, they've basically taken the lead and uh, uh, you know, they have decided that their money will be better managed by their own team. Now, 
with a good uh, best execution report, a good you know full transparency in terms of how their money is being managed. Now the plan sponsor trust the kind of party they trust that they are doing a good job and they now have to prove that they are doing a good job. So clearly foreign exchange isn't going to be escaping the demand for transparency, but perhaps there's a benefit to that transparency as well. JP, thanks for joining us today. Thank you very much, Les.